Hi everyone, I am Dr. Zafan Mir. Today I am going to tell you about how to select an appropriate statistical technique for your research question, for your hypothesis or for your data. Uh, for your clear understanding uh, and comprehensive or holistic understanding, watch the full video. Okay, um, there are four things uh, you should remember to select an appropriate statistical technique. First is the purpose. Second one is the measurement level of variables. And then number of independent and dependent variables in your research question or hypothesis. And last one is either you are going to, uh, you know, for parametric statistics or non-parametric statistics, depending on these uh, things. Okay, uh, what does it mean by purpose? Uh, this purpose comes, uh, you know, uh, from your research question or hypothesis means either you are going to investigate the level of something or you are going to determine the relationship between two variables or you are going to predict one variable over the other. Uh, you may also compare two means of uh, two samples as well. And even you can also find out the association between two attributes. So. Purpose is very important. Uh, first of all, you have to look into it that what's the purpose uh, of your research question or uh, hypothesis. And then level of measurement. Uh, as you know, there are four levels of measurement. Nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Uh, the detail of these measurement levels, uh, I have uh, made a video on it and you can uh, see in the dis uh, description. There's a link and you can watch it as well. So there are four levels of measurement. You have to, you know, um, keep in, uh, into your account that your variable uh, measures in what level. And next one is uh, number of independent and dependent variables. How many number of independent variables are there in your research question or hypothesis are? How many dependent variables are in your research question or hypothesis. Even we will discuss later that in one independent variable, we may have two or more factors. For example, gender is, uh, if, if gender is independent variable, then it might have two levels, male and female. Okay, uh, we may have more than two factors as well in some cases. Okay. Uh, when, whenever you are going to select any statistical technique, you also have to look into it. Either the data is, uh, you know, normally distributed or not. Either you are going to uh, going to select parametric statistics or non-parametric statistics. Okay, uh, let's take some examples and then we will discuss. Okay, for example, uh, let's talk about descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics. Usually in social science researches, we calculate mostly mean or average or standard deviation, coefficient of variance, uh, commonly known as CV, and then percentage. Okay. For example, if we have uh, like in our uh, research question, our objective, we want to examine the level of emotional intelligence of prospective teachers. Okay, in this uh, particular uh, purpose, this is the purpose, and we have one, you know, sample, one independent, uh, one variable. Okay. We have one variable that is emotional intelligence of prospective teachers and we are going to examine the level of that variable. Okay, this emotional intelligence will be measured in interval level of measurement and if this happens then we will calculate mean for this. If you want to measure the level of something uh, with interval data, with one sample data, uh, with this purpose, you will calculate mean of the data. And then 
uh, if you want to find out the spread of data from mean you will calculate standard deviation okay for the next purpose for example if your purpose is to compare the st stability in scores in achievement scores of two classes two sections or classes section 1 and section 2 in mathematics stability or you can say that uh, how much data is you know on uniform or something like that if you if you have two classes and uh, you just you know uh, take the test of mathematics and see if you want to see that if you want to compare that the scores of these two classes which class is more stable uh, than the other one means uh, one class may have the scattered scores and one class may have the uh, uniform scores or stable scores so if this thing happens then you will calculate coefficient of variance in this particular things we have two uh, you know uh, samples data from this class and data from this class and the scores will be measured in interval or ratio level interval or ratio okay and the purpose is to compare the mean scores of two different classes to check the stability of scores okay the next one is Uh, if the purpose is uh, to see the teaching practices of prospective teachers teaching practices of prospective teachers uh, okay in this case uh, if you collect data through observations then you will calculate percentages that how much percentage uh, a particular teaching practice is going on okay uh, for this particular uh, thing your purpose is to identify or to examine teaching practices of prospective teachers and you have only one variable that is only the teaching practice of prospective teachers and the data is in nominal form so nominal data one variable and uh, examining or identifying teaching practices is the purpose and for this you can calculate percentages okay next uh, if the purpose is to uh, you know determine the relationship between two variables if these two variables are measured in ratio or interval level okay then you will go for Pearson product moment correlation coefficient okay r small r if your two variables measured in ratio or interval level then uh, the if the purpose is uh, to determining the relationship between these two variables then you will go for pearson product movement correlation coefficient r but if the uh, variables are measured in uh, ordinal level then we will calculate Spearman correlation coefficient okay uh, Spearman rank correlation coefficient okay if the data if these two variables are measured at ordinal level then we will calculate 
स्पीयरमैन रैंक कोरिलेशन कोफिशेंट ओके दिस इज स्पीयरमैन रैंक कोरिलेशन कोफिशेंट इज नॉन पैरामीट्रिक टेस्ट एंड पीरसन प्रोडक्ट मूवमेंट कोरिलेशन कोफिशेंट इज अ पैरामीट्रिक टेस्ट ओके नेक्स्ट इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंपेयर मीन स्कोर्स ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल कंपेयर मेल एंड फीमेल मीन स्कोर्स ऑन सेल्फ एफिकेसी ऑन देयर सेल्फ एफिकेसी इन दिस केस यू हैव वन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल that is gender having two factors male and female and we have one dependent variable that is self efficacy which will be measured in interval or ratio level and if this is the case uh, then you will go for independent sample t test okay you have one independent variable with two categories and one dependent variable measured in uh, interval or ratio level and purpose is to compare uh, whether there is significant difference exists between these two variables or not then you will go for applying independent sample t test for this case okay if you have more than three categories uh, for this uh, for example if you have one independent variable with three categories like uh, government schools private schools students and semi government school students and we want to compare their mean scores uh, on the achievement of students in eighth grade for mathematics subject then we will go for anova one way anova one way anova for this particular case when we have one independent variable and one dependent variable that is scores of students okay if we have one independent variable with and one dependent variable then we will go for independent sample t test and if we have uh, one independent variable with three categories like government private and semi government schools and one independent variable that is scores of students and we want to you know compare the mean scores uh, of these three sets then we apply for one way anova keep in your mind this in uh, dependent variable must be measured in interval or ratio level for anova as well okay the next is if you have uh, if you want to compare the mean scores of students studying in three different schools three different schools keeping control on some confounding variables then we will go for one way ancova uh, we have you know types of schools as one independent variable with three different types of schools and we have one dependent variable that is scores of students measured at interval or ratio level and we have to control certain variables that is confounding variables or covariates that might be emotional intelligence of students or any other self efficacy or any other variables spss can uh, account for 10 variables 10 covariates uh, 
you can deal 10 variables, 10 confound variables in SPSS. Okay, next is if the purpose is to, you know, check the association between two attributes, association between two attributes. If the purpose is to check the association between two attributes, uh, these two attributes mired and nominal data, nominal and count data, then you will go for chi-square test of independence. Okay. Uh, this is non-parametric statistic, right? Okay, if you want to, if you, the purpose is to check the effect of one variable on another, if effect of emotional intelligence on students' self-efficacy, then you will go for simple linear regression. Simple linear regression. Because you have one independent variable and one dependent variable. Self-efficacy is depending on emotional intelligence and both are measured at ratio or interval level. Okay. If you increase the number of independent variables, then we will apply multiple linear regression, right? And this is how uh, you can select different types of tests. Now I just give you an example and you need to, you know, uh, tell me which uh, type of uh, uh, statistical technique should we apply. Okay, we have uh, one hypothesis, H01. There is no significant significant difference in the mean scores of students, mean scores of students taught through collaborative teaching and traditional teaching in mathematics. So uh, you need, uh, now you should look into it and tell me uh, in comment that which statistical technique should we apply for this particular uh, hypothesis testing. I hope you understand the things. If you have any question, you may ask in the comment. Okay.